guys and welcome to beta day 10 it is april 10th we are in the double digits that's crazy so today is saturday it has already been a pretty good day it actually rained for a good chunk of the morning it is currently 11 16 um and it rained for a while which was predicted i'm really grateful that the weather didn't get too bad here um i don't like it when it hits like you know, right at midnight and into the early morning because nobody's awake, so you never know. But anyway, I'm really glad that I didn't get too bad. Today is the release day for my bluegrass socks pattern, which is so exciting. It's going great. The pattern is out and available on all of my platforms, so I'll link it down below so that you can check it out. Um, I'm just so excited that that pattern is finally out. It has been such a long process, but every um every step i learned something new and grew as a designer and i am just really excited that it is finally out to you guys so you can check that out down below if you're interested now i also have a couple of other really exciting projects to talk about you to you guys later i finally figured out the blanket situation and i started a new sock so i'm going to show you both of those things in a little bit However, right now, I am going to split for the sleeves on my Sand and Ocean cardigan because I am at that point. I was able to get to it yesterday. Um, I didn't even have to do that much knitting. I mean, all in all, the rows are really long right now. So it took, um, I don't know, probably 40 minutes maybe for me to get to the point of where I needed to split for the sleeves. But I did it and I am so excited um, I am loving these two colors next to each other. So cute. I'm really excited to see how all of the other colors play together. Um, but yeah, so that is the next step for this cardigan. And that is what I'm about to do right now because it is going to get to a good stopping place for this, um, project for a podcast because I will be filming a podcast a little bit later today, early this afternoon. Um, I have the show notes written, so I'm ready to go. I am just waiting on a couple of other things, and um, I want to split the sleeves on that quite again first. So I'm really glad that I have the time to do that, and that this afternoon is pretty free so that I can have the time to film. Um, usually, I would like to film on Sundays, on Sunday afternoons. Um, it just kind of works well with, you know, doing it right after church and before lunch. And I am dressed nice like I was going to church. And so it works out well. Um, but anyway, this was just going to be a little bit more casual. And that is totally okay. Um, I'm just not going to have time to film one tomorrow, basically. So I want to, I want to get it done now so that I can have it off my plate and just, you know, edit it in a little bit when I have time. It's... I mentioned this before, but editing is not as stressful because I don't have to, like, it doesn't matter what the lighting looks like when I'm, you know, editing a video. It doesn't matter um, what time of day it is as long as it gets done. So, right now, I am going to split for the sleeves on this coat again. I love this step so much because it goes from looking like a weird jumbly mess on needles to a full-on sweater, and it is so exciting. So let's go ahead and do that. So it is actually quite a bit later now. It is 2.30, which is crazy. I feel like the day is 
flying by, but that's okay. I'm getting a lot done, which is great. So, I have recorded a podcast. I actually have another video exporting right now that is going to go up on Monday. It is super exciting. So, you're going to want to tune into that, but of course, I will give you some more information on that um, probably in tomorrow's beta episode. But, I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about a couple of new projects that I have started because I am so glad they are finally underway. So, first off, I know the one that you are all sitting on the edge of your chair to see is this blanket. So, as you know from the past couple of VEDA days, I have spent so many hours planning this blanket trying to find, um, not trying to find, trying to create a chart that'll work, um, and it has not been easy, let me tell you. I went into it knowing exactly what I wanted it to look like, and it just ended up not working. That's all there is to it. Um, it's definitely something that I want to continue working on for a future design, but it is just not going to work for this one, and that's okay. I have designed something that is going to work. I am so excited about it. And I have started it, and I am so happy. So, here it is so far. I have literally only done the bottom um, edging, but it is going really well. So, I've cast on. I've done the bottom edging. It's just a bunch of garter stitch right now. I am about to, um, well, next time I work on it, which will hopefully be later today, um, I am going to start the arrow pattern um and i'm really excited about it so you're going to be able to see this blanket grow as i continue working on it every day i'm hoping to actually finish it in the month of april because i think i want it to be a may design um so you might just see this design start to finish in this month which would be super cool um so that is that project i'm using pretty much the coolest needles ever they are amazing. They are the Knit Picks Rainbow Wood Needles. It's my first time using them. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. They're just so fun. Um, so yeah, I'm having a blast with this project so far. And this yarn is just a dream. It is Knit Picks Swish and Bulky. I think I've showed it in one of the past beta episodes, but oh my goodness, it is just so soft. It's 100% wool, but it is so airy, so squishy. I just love it so much so that is the first thing that i have started um last night i kind of planned exactly what it was going to be like the number of stitches i needed to cast on i started the pattern all of that jazz um and then this morning i started it and i actually did that entire um go to section while we watched the new episode of falcon and the winter soldier which um i don't know if y'all have Disney Plus. Most people do nowadays, I think, but we have Disney Plus, and that is a show um, that right now is coming out every Friday, a new episode releases. So we enjoyed kind of a slow morning, um, and I, we watched that, and I got started on that blanket. So it was a really fun way to be productive, still get something done, but enjoy watching that with my brothers. Um, so yeah, it was great. I don't know, that show is weird. It is... It's strange, but it's good. We're enjoying it. Um, it ended on a really, like, sad note this morning. It was kind of a bad way to end an episode, but it's okay. Cliffhanger. Marvel loves cliffhangers. Um, anyway, so that is the first project that I'm working on. The second one that I started also this morning, I have had a busy day. Um, I don't know why the project bag was all the way across the floor, but anyway, so this is my sock design that I am working up a second sample of because I'm going to have a tester call go out for it next week, um, and this is how far I am. So I haven't done that much. I'm a little over, like just over halfway done with the ribbing, um, and it is going great so far love this colorway so much i talked about it in the podcast episode that i recorded today um but it is nitpix stroll in the colorway eucalyptus tonal and it is just so gorgeous i'm in love with this colorway 
um, definitely won't be the last thing that I make out of it because it is just absolutely beautiful. Um, so yeah, I'm really having fun working on these. These are, this is the first time I'm using these specific needles. Um, these are the Chiaogu, um, 9 inch circular size 1, 2.25 millimeter needles. Let me just throw a bunch of numbers at you, but I'm really enjoying them so far, so... I'm excited about this project. Um, it's going great. I'm hoping to actually, I'm trying to, so I'm, I want to do a test to a call on Wednesday and I'm not worried about being able to do that because this is my second sample. I've already knit an entire pair of socks. Um, but I am planning on making a second sample anyway and I thought it made sense to go ahead and do the first one and kind of use that as the test to call and um, I wanted to be able to compare the self-striping version versus the solid color version um so anyway i'm hoping to have that done by monday is my goal that first sock um which should be doable tomorrow i really want to spend some time working on my scrappy sunday projects because i have not had time to do that the past few weeks um last sunday i was totally planning on you know talking about that a lot in beta and it was also Easter, and I forgot that at the time that I, you know, was planning that day. Um, so I did not have time to work on any scrappy projects <laughs> last Sunday, but that's okay. I'm hoping to have some time tomorrow. Um, and then the other thing that I did, I did a little time lapse of it, so you would have seen a little bit of it at least. Um, but I did split for the sleeves on this cardigan, and now it just looks more like a cardigan. I'm so excited about this project, so... Yeah, that was super fun. I will never get tired of turning a sweater from a jumbled mess into splitting for the sleeves and making it look like a sweater because it's just an awesome feeling. So I'm happy that I was able to get that done today as well. Um, like I said, I have a video exporting right now. It should be done in about 11 minutes according to the little estimation here. And it should be pretty accurate. Um, and then I have to edit podcast i'm probably gonna go ahead and try to get that done today um and yeah that's about it for today but i'll probably check in one more time a little bit later um but yeah it's been a good day it's been a good saturday it turned out to be a really pretty day as well it started off rainy and gloomy but it was hard to get out of bed this morning <laughs> um but i did bright and early well it was not bright but early um to release that pattern but anyway I'm going to sign off for now and get some more stuff done, and I will check in a little bit later, hopefully with a finished sock cuff. That is my goal. Hey guys, so it is now 4.30, and I have been hard at work this whole time. I have finished the cuff of this, whoa, of this sock, which is super awesome. Just threw it on the floor because that's what I do. Um, but I finished the cuff, which is great. It was my goal, and I have the first sock um here that I made for my sister so I'm just um working on the pattern and it is challenging but it's a good challenge um I'm trying to write this pattern in such a way that while it was originally designed to um be knit with a contrast color using self-striping yarn it can also be knit with one color and look super beautiful as well so that is what I'm working on right now. I'm honestly thinking I might make a third pair because I have some more self in yarn that would be so beautiful in this pattern as well. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, but as of right now, I'm just trying to figure out the best way to make it clear that it can be knit both ways and provide, you know, yardage estimates for both. So it's kind of tricky layout wise, but I will get it figured out. Um, really excited for these socks to enter the testing phase because I am just super excited about this pattern. So I've been working on that. Um, I have the podcast edited and that is exporting now, which is awesome. Um, and yeah, so hopefully tomorrow I will be able to show you the first finished repeat of the stitch pattern for the blanket. That is my goal. I'm honestly trying to finish the entire first skein this um, evening. We'll see if I can get that far, but I'm hoping I can. There's a couple other projects that I really want to work on too, so we'll just see what happens with that. Um, but yeah, so 
I'm going to end beta day 10 here. I hope y'all had a wonderful Saturday. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping to have a good bit of time to work on scrappy projects. Um, but we're also going to have a good chunk of time in the car because we're headed to um, Birmingham, which is about an hour away for us in the afternoon. So I'm trying to figure out the best project to take for that car trip as well. Um, so yeah, we'll just have to see. But I hope you enjoyed this beta episode. Don't forget to check out the Bluegrass Sock Pattern that released today. So happy that it's finally out to you guys. Um, and I will chat with you all tomorrow. Bye.